and welcome back. Now, as you must know by now, we do occasionally like to spring surprises on each other. Nice ones. Uh, yesterday, you saw how we arranged a front row seat for Fern at her daughter Winnie's nativity. That was lovely. Yeah, you enjoyed that, didn't I you? I did. Uh, here's another good one. Back in March, she let it slip to me, I think we were chatting in, uh, in the makeup room, mm. that it was soon to be her 25th year in television. And we said, what? You, a woman of your tiny age, it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> not and as I swiftly <laughs> punched him. <laughs> <laughs> not being one to let such an opportunity pass us by, we did this. Now, though, 25 years ago today, Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister, the jams going underground was number one, and Elsie Tanner nearly died in Corrie after falling asleep with a lit cigarette. At the same time, a young girl from the country had a big dream to be the star of the small screen. The journey took her through regional television and news broadcasting before the nation took her to their hearts. And she became one of the best-loved faces on I the television to this. this day. No, but everybody else does. <laughs> 25 years ago, Fern made her first television oh, Don't appearance. make me cry. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Fern, and here is Thank a trip you. down memory lane. Oh, God. <laughs> Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Fern Britton. And welcome to Coast to Coast to the programme that is, well, it's changing our cooking habits, isn't it? Anyway, here is a brief resume. Fern's career really took off at Spotlight Southwest. One colleague said she's not so much a breath of fresh air, more a tornado. Yes, she was on the right track. Because she always knew how to conduct herself. Although not everyone was convinced that her video, Learn to Dance the Fern Britain Way, was destined to be a big hit. She also showed no fear about putting her privates on parade. Knees together! More men like you in the army, I'll tell you that now. But this lovely girl needed to be seen by a wider audience, and it wasn't long before it dawned on her that the early bird catches the best job. Good morning, Fern. Good morning, thank you very much. Yep. Firm was the BBC's youngest ever female newsreader and demonstrated even then that keen ability for witty banter. And yes, Fern, I noticed that the first story we gave you today was little home from home for you. You know that part of the world very well. Uh, yes, you. in the uh, council offices in Liscard, and a mm -hmm. chap who had his planning application turned down went a bit bananas and threatened to shoot one of the council officials. Do most of the people who come from Cornwall behave like that? Certainly not. Naturally, the South West wanted her back and she obliged, teaming up on Coast to Coast with a local legend. Hi, Fern. It's your old mate Fred Dynage here, wishing you a very happy anniversary. We went out on some extraordinary things. I remember going dancing with you at a pub in Portsmouth. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what it was all about. We were both very exotically dressed, and I remember we came back to the studio with a few glasses of wine inside us. It was a very happy day. Yeah, thank you so much. Every night at five to six, out would come that squash ball of yours, go flying all round the studio, and the last person to be holding the ball as the opening music to the programme started was the loser. And if you lost enough, you had to buy drinks at the end of the week. What are you doing? All this talk of drink? Is this the fern I know? Yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on. As Fern did, because her driving ambition put her in the fast lane. But sometimes, she didn't like it. I'm quite frightened. No, 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 you'll be all right. Go. The winner of the ladies' invitation, Morgan Ford 1600 race, Miss Fern Britton, GBS. With her career in pole position, GMTV beckoned. Hello and welcome to Top of the Morning. Viewers thought Fern a natural for daytime TV, and her colleagues agreed. Well, welcome to the big time, Fern. You've arrived. And he was right, because it wasn't long before Fern dipped her toe into Liverpool's Albert Dock to present a well-known daytime TV show. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Who'd stand in on a live television show on Friday the 13th? We've got to be mad, We've you know. Be. And it was just plain old bad luck who she got stuck with on that first day. You're a fashion victim, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, it was me. But I couldn't believe it. I get my first gig on this morning, and who do I get lumbered with? The standing. Her luck was destined to improve as she was snapped up to present a new cookery show. Very, very much indeed. Thank you. Hello, welcome. The show was a smash. That's right, yeah. OK, one minute. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, no one's noticed. <laughs> But the viewers certainly noticed her. During her four years and a thousand episodes, she not only pulled huge audiences, but also... I first met Fern on Ready, Steady, Cook all those years ago. And for about five years, we didn't even talk to each other. 
And then one day, we had a couple of drinks, and I came out of the studio, and we had a bit of banter. And she said to me, get in the car. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. She said, get in the car. And that was it. And that was six years ago. Luckily, Phil didn't say, on your bike. <laughs> But she did that anyway as a courier in danger celebrity at work. Ooh, look, I've been overtaken by a push bike. <laughs> my last job, and I didn't cock it up, did I? Anyway, there's my truck. <gasps> look at the bike! Her courier career had stalled, <laughs> so Fern was ready for a new challenge, presenting a truly cutting edge program. <laughs> oh, oh my god, she... god that's blood! She's... I think I need a bit of a drink. <laughs> Because in a moment we've all it is now. It's so sure. Something that I've always admired about Fern Britton is her total professionalism. Who is the Roman goddess of love? Is it A, Venus, B, Pluto? Nonsense. Or C, Uranus? If you know the answer. <laughs> Go right now. One of the things I admire most about Fern, and I call her Fifi is her a fantastic sense of humour. I mean, she has always been able to make me laugh. Are you laughing? No. <laughs> I could hear breathing then, sorry. I'm sorry if I might be breathing. Q. <laughs> What's so brilliant is that you can sustain so much I hate to say waffle, but you know what I mean. I'm you glad you hate to say waffle. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, Not do you? Not a clue. No. But I'm sure you're right, because you always are. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you are learning fast. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are volunteering for another, another four years, are you? I'm volunteering. It's a shame it's not May the 4th. It'd be marvellous. A great May slogan. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Yes. See? You see, we're there already. <laughs> we know that you're a Liverpool fan. I am. So there we are. Ah. Howard. Number 10. Number 10. <laughs> but before we head to Weatherfield, a quick reminder that the show is shorter tomorrow due to the budget. So <laughs> we carry on. We can't afford the last half an hour of the show. <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> Congratulations, Fern. 25 years in the business. Oh, a success all these years. Well done. And how kind were you to me on the pilot for this morning, back in 1980-something or other, me doing a little consumer item, and you guided me through it. You were a star. Thank you, darling. <laughs> my uh, favourite Fern moment, in fact, it's my favourite moment ever on television, uh, would be the dunking. I mm. don't like... <laughs> Dunking and the beef. Mm. Mm. Is that good? Mm. You see, you don't mind dunking a bit of beef, do you? It's her generosity, kindness, fun. Love you! <laughs> One of the proudest moments was when Fern picked up the This Morning Awards last year. She was completely overcome and thrilled. So was I. Because she really is enjoying the programme and she enjoys doing it all and she loves people. And, of course, they all love her. Well, goodness me. Fern Britton, 25 years in broadcasting. What an achievement. He's far too young. To be in the business for this amount of time and also to be having more fun than you've ever had before has got to be something of an achievement. We all love you. And we're all so proud of you. I adore working with you. Um, thank you very much indeed for the time that I've had. Lots of love, darling. Another 25 years and the rest. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations and good health. 
Big kiss from Dale. Congratulations, and have a great day. And here's to you, Fran Brightman. Well done! That was fantastic, thank you. Ma, well, really indeed. lovely, nice thing to be able to do. And also, great to be able to keep a surprise like that as well. It's very tough to keep a surprise like yeah. that. Yes, my mother as well and everybody, and yes. But anyway, that's enough about me. What did you think? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> 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 now then, we've been promising you all this morning to settle back with a cup of tea and watch the smooth-looking, big-sounding, designer-wearing boys that are Il Devo as they perform their track Mama in the sumptuous surroundings of West Wickham House.